How's it everybody? It's Adam here from Shreddy Breath and for those of you who are regular viewers of Dan Home Z, you'll realise Dan's looking a little bit less chubby today. Truth be told, Dan is a lazy bastard. So, my name is Adam, uh, my channel is Shreddy Breath and I focus more on bodybuilding as opposed to you know strength training or powerlifting. But what got me into weightlifting to start with was um, powerlifting and strength training. So I've got experience in strength training, powerlifting, um, as well as bodybuilding. I will compete as a bodybuilder. And today I just want to talk about the differences between um, training to you know look good, to develop muscle, and why you don't always need to lift heavy, and why sometimes lifting too heavy isn't going to give you uh, the results that you want in terms of bodybuilding or in terms of getting a better physique. So let me give you a little bit of background. Um, a couple of years ago, I'm 23 at the minute, I started training seriously in the gym when I was 18, but I lifted a whole prior to that. And my goal was always, you know, uh, my right one split, sorry, was, you know, the typical five sets of... After, you know, months and months of training, maybe it was a year of training, I realised I didn't really put much size and I got stronger, but I wasn't that much bigger. Now, I found out that was because I wasn't eating enough carbohydrates so up my um, food intake and like I said I bulked at one point all the way to 219 pounds but I was going fat so I was thinking well I'm eating right now I'm eating the right foods I'm still training why am I not getting the results I want why am I not getting that aesthetic look blah 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 fast forward last year I started competing bodybuilding now something that I've learned is for bodybuilding weight is irrelevant now I don't want this to be confused with taking it easy or not training hard. In bodybuilding, the goal is to work the muscle, not move the weight. So for example, let's take something like a bicep curl. We want to develop the biceps. I could easily put 25 kilograms on each side of a bar, swing that, get six reps out from you know bottom position all the way at to the top, easy. Would I be working the muscle lot? Would I be working the bicep? Or would I feel as if the bicep was being worked after I finished the set? No, 100% absolutely not. Um, that's because i will be using the weight as too heavy. I wouldn't actually be working the muscle, so I wouldn't be you know, tearing the muscle farther down. There'd be no sort of damage there to repair and for the muscle to grow back bigger and stronger. All I'd be doing is using momentum, swinging me back and literally just moving the weight. Now there's a difference between weightlifting and bodybuilding. Weightlifting, you know, I'd say just a casual gym uh, lifter, something I used to be, so the type of training I used to do as weightlifting, somebody, you know, just goes to the gym, lifts some weights, they want to get, you know, a little bit stronger, maybe to improve the physique a little bit, and it's basically just casually, recreationally, going to the gym, lifting weights. In bodybuilding, your main focus is to attack the muscle, break it down, feed it, rest it, and grow. So there's a number of ways you can do this without having to actually increase the weight that you're doing. And a good way to sum it up or a good term to describe that is progressive overload. Now there's a different number of different ways you can you know add progressive overload in your routine. And really that's what you're striving for, progressive overload if you want to make results, if you want to make gains. So what am I talking about? Well, one way to add progressive overload is week in, week out, you know, add weight to the exercise that you're doing, so you put more pressure, more strain on the muscle, but the muscle doesn't know how much weight is on there, the muscle can't distinguish between a 10 kilogram plate and a 20 kilogram plate, the muscle just goes by feel. So there's other ways, rather than just increasing weight to, so you know, tax the muscle, and these are things like pre-exhausting the muscle, drop sets, supersets, force reps, negative reps. Now if you don't know what any of these are, I'll give you a quick a couple um, of examples of how you can incorporate some of these techniques into your routine to hopefully get better results. And like I say, if you want more information, you can head over to my channel um, where I've got plenty of training videos up over there. So let's take a look at drop sets, for example. So you might be um, doing something like, let's just take biceps again, because everybody wants big biceps. So when the biceps starts popping, panties start dropping. So let's say you've just hit um, you know, a set of eight, Easy bar curls, barbell curls, dumbbell curls. Let's take the easy bar curl for example. You've just done a set, eight reps, and that eighth rep was, you know, the good form, maxed out. That's how you should be training, you know. You want to be training so that last rep is the last rep you can do, not comfortably, but that last rep is the last rep you can do with absolute, you know, you couldn't get another rep, but with good form. 
So then what do you do? If you up the weight, you're going to lower the reps. But if you go any, any lower than, you know, at the lowest you should be going for muscle growth, in my opinion, is six reps at the very lowest. Anywhere between you know, six and ten, six to twelve is the range you want to be training. So if you've got a set of eight, you know, if you up the weight, chances are you might not get another set of six. Even on, you know, even if you up the weight just a little bit, you still might not get six. So you just got your eight uh, rep on a weight where you know it's just game over. So what you do, drop that, pick up a lighter weight, and you just go again. And the goalie would be, you know, to pick a weight that you can get again around eight reps on. And then if you do that and you still got a little bit left in the tank, you know, drop that weight, pick up a lighter weight, do it again, drop setting. Supersetting, si similar principle. You can either superset opposing muscle groups, so you might be training, um, say biceps, triceps, you might go uh, hit a bicep exercise and with no rest hit a tricep exercise. But what I'm going to talk about here is something that I do in my high volume uh, bicep workouts, there's plenty on my channel, and I've made pretty good bicep gains. And that is a tri set um, of bicep exercises. So a tri set is like a super set, and a super set is when you do one exercise, no rest, straight into the next exercise. A tri set is you do one exercise, no rest, straight into the next exercise, no rest, straight into the next exercise again. So my bicep routine, my high volume bicep routine, would typically be something like incline uh, barbell curls, uh, preacher curl and then hammer curls or some combination of that so what you would do is you know you pick your weight you do your first exercise straight on the next um, exercise straight on the next exercise and then you rest these were all little ways little tricks not tricks just techniques that you can use to you know stimulate the muscle work the muscle without having to go heavy and without having to sacrifice form for bodybuilding for me it's all about you know working the muscle I don't care if there's a guy 50 pounds lighter than me to my left who can bench press more than me, who can bicep curl more than me, who can squat more than me. Because for bodybuilding, on stage, you're not getting judged by how much weight you can lift. But I don't want this to be confused with training easy. You know, every set that you do, every rep that you should do should be, you know, fully concentrated. Your full focus should be in every set. And say if you are doing, you know, four sets of a bench press or four sets of a bicep curl, whatever it's going to be, especially that third and fourth set should be pretty much until failure. So you want to pick a weight, if your rep range is between eight and 10, you want to pick a weight where if you're getting 10 reps, an 11th rep would be impossible. If your rep range is um, six to eight, you want to pick a weight where if you get that sixth rep, it's impossible to get the seventh, or if you get eighth rep, and eight, if you get eight reps, sorry, a ninth rep would be impossible. Dorian Yates, I think it was Mike Mensah, said to him, um, if you were in the gym and somebody held a gun to your partner's head or your wife's head and said, do another rep or I'm going to kill them, could you do another rep? If you could, you're not training hard enough, you're not training intense enough. You can have your warm sets, you know, always warm if there's some lighter weight, but then when you're going for your max effort sets, it should be exactly that, max effort. So, you don't always need to lift heavier weights to make gains in bodybuilding. Remember, bodybuilding isn't strength training, bodybuilding isn't power training, bodybuilding isn't about being a strong man, bodybuilding is about working the muscle, and you can work the muscle without having to uh, increase the weight. You can work the muscle by, like what I've said, drop sets, super sets, increasing time and retention. There's a load of different ways you can do this. Um, and for more information, head over to my channel and check the videos out I've got over there, guys. Thank you very much to Dan for the opportunity to give you this video. Um, I didn't go too scientific in this video because I'm not Walter White. I'm not Jesse Pinkman. I'm a blend between the two. Call me the middle ground. So guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Dan. Make sure to head over to Shreddy Breck and subscribe to me. Any questions, fire them down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. But until next time though, guys, keep clanging and banging.